today's video is on grafting tomato plants so i will take you through what seeds that you'll need equipment the practical of how to take the graft and i will give you an update of how the grafts have taken so the seeds that you guys are going to need to get are your normal tomato plant seeds i've got sun gold rosella shirley and then my other seeds that I've got is a specific rootstock tomato seed and that's called submarine. I'll put all the information and links that you need to obtain any of the equipment that I've spoken about in this video. The equipment that you need will be toothpicks, some silicon grafting clips and your scalpel to get a nice clean cut. So this may seem like quite a daunting process if you're new to grafting. If you've taken cuttings before, this might seem and feel a little bit more familiar to you, but you've really just got to go for it. As long as you've got your equipment and you're doing this process, everything will work out absolutely fine. So what I've done, I will keep this tray in the middle of me. So I know that this is my rootstocks. And this will be the tray that I'm keeping. This tray I will eventually throw away once I've taken all of the tops off. And you just got to get in there. The most important thing is stem size. So you want those two stems to match up as closely as you possibly can. So if you just go through your stock, I'm going to take this one. Nicely slice it off. Throw that top away and then grab one that's reasonably well matched grab your silicon graft clip and just make sure those stems are touching and then I take my toothpick and I put it through the other hole and that just gives it a little extra bit of support. I'll now do a real close up so you can guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to remove this top, throw that one away. This is the top of the tomato plant that I'm keeping. So that's slid halfway down in the silicon graft. And then I'm just gonna slide that one over the top of there. Just make sure those two ends are pushed together nicely. Take your pick stick and slide that into the side. That'll just give it a bit of extra support. And then because these are all mixed up varieties, I'm just putting in a name so I know what tomato variety it is. This is my rootstock. Take that, throw that away. This is my tomato plant that I am keeping so I slide that in and then you want to slide this bottom bit over the top and make sure those two are fused together then grab your pick stick and there you have your grass I've now finished all of my tomato grafting, so I'm now gonna put them into the glass house where it's nice and warm and they can try and recover from this harsh procedure. You will notice the tops will start to wilt, so I will make sure this tray is watered. I never ever let it dry out and I might give them a bit of misting just to create a bit of humidity for the plant to sort of get through this stressful stage. And for the rest of the tomato crop that didn't cut the grafting, I'll pop these up and what I'll try and do is do a graft versus non-graft and see what the production's like. So we actually get a visual 
to see the difference between the two. These are the grafted tomato plants that I did three weeks ago now. As you can see, this graft clip has actually come off, which is brilliant. This one's starting to come off here. So these are now ready to be potted up. The only thing I will say, if you are potting them up or potting them into their final positions, just make sure that graft is above the soil because you'll find that uh, tomato plants are renowned for rooting anyway up the stem. I normally like to plant my non-grafted ones quite deep, but these guys will have to be potted up below the graft. So the rootstock root system is obviously what you're trying to get your plant to take up the nutrients, water, to be able to grow into a better plant and the and not to grow it. Not to have the roots above the graft growing because they'll be obviously the roots for the normal tomato plant that we've whacked on the top. So if you guys are giving this a go, then good luck and hopefully you will be as successful as what I am. And I haven't lost any of them. So I think I've got about 40 grafted tomato plants there and they've all done really well, but they definitely need potting up now. So I'm going to crack on with that. And thanks guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.